Continuing to fill questions for you, Similia, I have a student asking from within our Telegram group about time management going through NBME and QBank blocks. Okay, even if time management hasn't been an issue for you till this point, do I have any tips slash tricks for helping you get through blocks more efficiently and effectively? Okay, I can give you three points, I would say, uh, for getting you through blocks more effectively. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, M-A-N underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below, not start the clip. So time management on blocks, even if it hasn't, it's never been an issue for you, do I have any tips slash tricks? And the answer is three points. The first I would say, and this isn't dramatic or novel information, okay? The first point, you simply need to have an internal clock in place. So if you're hovering over a question for 60, 70 plus seconds, you're not making progress on it, you're just not sure, you need to be able to have the self-discipline to agnostically and unemotionally just flag it and move on, okay? You, you can't hover over questions you're not making progress. It's a bad fucking idea. So you have to exhibit some discipline, you say, it's been about my internal clock is saying it's been about 70 seconds. It's starting to feel like I've been sitting on this question for a while. You flag it, you move on. That's the first point. The second point is that, and this one's a bit more minor actually, is if you encounter a research style question, this more applies to step two, where it's let's say a triple question where there's a mini research article, holy shit, where you're going to have to read that in the middle of a block. How are we going to know necessarily how much time we'll have left? Okay, so uh, by the end of the block. So what I want you doing is flagging the whole fucking thing, knowing that you're going to have to return to it. And then at the end of your block, you say, okay, I've got 12 minutes to comfortably read it now. Or, oh, fuck, I only have two minutes. I got to whip through it. Okay, so by flagging it and returning to it, you know how much time you have to allocate. All right, so that's a, that's a mini point. Uh, the third point, and I made plenty of prior clips here on the YouTube. It's more extended. It's about how to, how to dissect long question stems, all right? So, uh, and if you search Melman Medical long question stems, I've made plenty of clips on this stuff. But in, in a very short sense, you should glance at the answer choices first. Are you dealing with an organism? Next best step in diagnosis. Is it just what is the diagnosis? And then you're going to glance at the last couple of lines first. You can sometimes get the answer right from that. Maybe 25, 33% of questions just from the last couple of lines. You're going to glance at the lab values. Is it sodium, potassium, pH, bicarb, aldosterone type of question? Is it bu endocrinian ratio? Is it a pleural fluid pH type of thing for an empyema and surgery? And then if you still can't get the answer, you're going to look up at the big fucking paragraph. You're going to glance around like a wordless collage looking for, is there anything that jumps out? Okay, they mention a blood pressure. Is there a fever? Okay, like, is there anything that jumps out at you? Any buzzwords? So if you still can't get the answer, then after five to seven seconds, you have you can now go back to the beginning. The last thing you're going to do is start a question. If you've got a big question, is start from the beginning with a 32-year-old woman comes to the physician, just stop fucking reading, and you're going to glance at the answer choices, as I said, and you're going to look at the last couple of lines, look at the lab values, glance around the paragraph, okay? If you still can't get the answer, you can go back to the beginning. That's how I've evolved to answer questions. As I said, I made plenty of clips on that. So in short recapitulation here, you're, when you're dealing with time management, you need to have an internal clock in place, okay? Not hover too long on questions. I recommend flagging research article type questions so you know how much time you have left to deal with them in a block. And also in terms of tackling long question stems, it's advantageous to work backwards. Okay, never fucking start at the beginning of a question without looking at the uh, remainder of it first. You know the deal, I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.